Hi there, my name is Raul and welcome. So today I'm back to talk to you about another neat feature within Palometrics and it is called the Multimetrics. Now before I get into that, let me just give you a little bit of a context as to when and why that might be a useful tool for you. Now if you have looked at our previous videos, you might have seen one on calculated metrics and that helps you when you have two separate power metrics that are tracking um, the same metrics and you want to get a cumulative look at it. So for example, if I have a membership count on my MailChimp uh, mailing lists and I have a follow account on my Instagram account, uh, can, I can calculate the total reach across my two channels, my email lists and my Instagram uh, account in a single calculated metric and this is what it does. So if you want some um, context as to how that was done, we will link the video to the calculated power metrics in the text below. So feel free to check that out. So that gives us a total look at the numbers across the two channels. But what would also be useful is if we could layer one power metric on top of the other. And that's where the multimetric comes in handy. So what you see here at the bottom, this is what we call the multimetric. And this is handy because you have data that are coming in from two separate sources. In my case, I have data coming in from Instagram and I have data coming in from MailChimp. Now, if I want to layer one on top of each other, the multimetric is going to be super helpful here. Now, granted, if you have data that has got all your sources in the one data source, you can segment your data super easily. In this case, I don't. I have data coming in from two separate sources and that's where a multimetric would come in handy to have that segmented as such. So now that we know the use case and you know kind of where you might want to use this, let's take a look at how we can build this. So I will edit the dashboard and I will start by adding any one of the power metrics that I want to track in my multimetric power metric. So the first one that I want to track is the Instagram followers count. So I'll start by adding that in. All right, so I'll just bring it up to the top so that we can view it more easily. Okay, so we have our original Instagram follower count um, power metric here and now what what I would like to do is I would like to further add another layer to this and that would be the MailChimp follower count or my MailChimp email list count. So to do that, I'll just click on the power metric and then on the right panel, you should see the data tab. If you click on it, you should see the plus icon here and what this allows us to do is it allow, allows us to add an additional um, power metric to it. So I'm going to add my MailChimp list member count power metric to it and you can see that it gets added immediately. And you can add any number of power metrics additionally on top of this as well. So it's just a matter of finding the power metric and clicking on the plus button. When you're done, just click on done and that's what you will see. So in my case, I have my two power metrics layered on top of each other and I'll just save this. So this is cool because it's giving me the same timeline um, and I can see immediately how they are doing in that same context. So you can see that I started tracking my Instagram follower account only in April of last year and it has been an okay gradual increase. And I only started tracking my MailChimp member count um, in October last year and again it also has been a gradual increase, um, if not maybe pretty slow. And you can see that maybe we have done a little bit more on the social media front by maybe running a campaign uh, because we have seen a more steep increase in our follow account. Um, so maybe we want to do something similar for our uh, mailing list as well. So this is a cool way for us to track uh, contextually within the same time period 
by layering our two power metrics on top of each other. And that is all possible with the use of a multi-metric. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that helps. Happy dashboarding!